Hi everyone, um, please bear with me, I'm just trying to get some coffee going. Uh, my throat is a bit raw, it's quite sore from some coughing. I seem to be slowly, very slowly, mending from a cold over Christmas, but it's gone from my nose down to my lungs and back up again to my throat, so ugh. Uh, so please bear with me, I'm just going to grab a coffee and put some honey in it and uh, try to just relax the throat muscles. Back in a second. The phrasing on that wasn't good. I'm trying to sort my voice box out, fuck you. Indeed. Best of luck with your test, no pal. Whatever it is, I hope you ace it. Uh, but I strongly recommend switching off the live stream if you're still here, no pal. Go and revise and prepare. Well, I suppose it's only two hours, but you know what I mean. Hi, everyone. Hi and welcome. We'll see how I go this morning. I'm If I'm unable to appropriately um, lubricate the voice box, then I might find I'm just going to keep coughing and I might have to bog off and get on with work early than usual. On that front, please know... In fact, let me link it for you. Hang on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. Opening up Google... What is it? Google Sheets? It's not Excel. Hang on. So, on the bullshittery front, so my primary focus when it comes to my work, uh, I've got this. Hang on. Copy link. Paste the link. Have a look at this. This is an overview on the latest bullshittery that's being worked on for the last few weeks. This is what's kept me busy all December, and I'm trying to get it over the finish line. Now, I've almost got 95% of it finished. The main things that are missing from this bullshittery are mostly commissions, and also some, some uh, like, um, particle effects, and, like, fire effects and stuff. So, it's mostly done. Now... The next sheet, QA Open, concerns a QA review, which is still underway. Hang on a minute. Reached. Hang on. Of 25. So, on the QA review, on the second tab, I haven't actually got that far. I've only reached 1 minute and 24 seconds out of 25 minutes of the quality assurance review. What that essentially means is I need to watch through the entire video, list all of the errors that I can see, or perhaps the parts of the video that are hard to follow, and basically just start fixing errors. Long story short, I expect this is going to take me a couple of weeks. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 
so please bear with me. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm trying to polish this bullshittery and then get it out the door for you, and then I'll get on with the next bullshittery. Right. Thank you, Watermelon Burger, Old Man Gamer, I'm a Rat, Pythorn, Com uh, Komodo Angel, Pa, Torbine, Calvin Tan, Shamrock, and Jace. Thank you, all of you. That's very kind of you. And if you're there, Nikki Hick, thank you for the art, by the way. Thank you very much. Right. Mm. Thank you, Concordi. Thank you very much, Concordi. Right. So, sorry, can I just uh, sip this? Hang on. How did I go getting the voiceover of Amelia Tyler? Are you asking if I got it for this video, Aussie Spikes, or how did I get it in totality? Uh, the, se the answer to the second question is that she just has a website with an email, and I just asked politely. She's, she's a voice actress, she's looking for work, so I offered to pay her. And uh, for the former, no, I don't need Amelia for this particular episode. For uh, Malady is featured briefly, but I dropped her to the cutting room floor. So you meet her just before the advocate, uh, so one of the demons that you encounter. But I figured it wasn't strictly necessary to the overall plot. So, hmm. hang on. Sorry, just sipping this coffee. <coughs> Ooh. What is this dredge? I don't know, Shizuna. I'm unfamiliar with the game. I've seen very brief snippets, but beyond that, I don't know anything. Uh, this was bought for me by uh, my mod Duck Slayer as a gift for my birthday this year. Uh, last year, even. So, thank you, Duck, if you're there. Right, hang on. So, what the fuck is this game? Let's have a look. Dredge. Job listing. Angler wanted. Crashed into a lighthouse? How did you man how the fuck did you manage that? The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I might say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Jeez. Finally, I don't suppose you, I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Nobody wants to take the guy to the hospital? No? Okay. One second. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Ooh. Nope, not that. Save. Not save and quit. I just want to save the, uh, there we go. Resume. Sorry, can I just sip this? Yeah, no time for hospital. No time to check if, and see if you have a concussion. Or if anyone else was on that boat, you know, that just sunk. It's fine. Just pick up all this stuff and move it onto an old boat. It's fine. Insurance? What is that? Oh. <coughs> Uh, watermelon, I'm trying to recover from a cold that I had over Christmas. What's this? Mort Monday, day one, six in the morning. The worst time, just in general. Undock, what's this? Okay. Move forward with W, use S to reverse, turn with A and D. Huh, revolutionary. Okay. Rotate the camera with the mouse... Adjust height. Wow, what will they think of next? Move to a fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surface. Press F to start fishing. Press F. To 
Disturbed water, stock high, coastal, start fishing. Boat speed, 24 knots, fishing speed. What's this then? Is this a layout of the vessel? Peculiar engine. Hmm. Basic fishing pole. Start fishing. F. Press F at the right time. Blue mackerel. Species data added to the encyclopedia. Okay. Start fishing. Okay. I once went mackerel fishing off the coast of Scotland. Uh, off the uh, the small islands up there. Are they called the Hebrides? Yeah, we caught lots of mackerel. It was great. Every time we put the line down, it was crazy. You got like five coming up. Oh, what have I done? Trophy cord, 28 centimetres. It's a huge mackerel. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Kiros. Thank you very much, Kiros. Stock's low. There's only four mackerel in the shoal. Blue mackerel, five. Stock's depleted. That was the tiniest mackerel shoal on earth. Okay. Mackerel, good eating? Oh, yes, definitely. A very strong flavour. Okay. Although, apparently, it, it spoils very quickly. Mackerel spoils fast. Okay. <coughs> Stock's medium. Whoops. Fucked up. I see. So to the left there, that's the depth. Gotcha. Cod. I see. The game becomes Tetris. Can I rotate? I can rotate. Ah. Okay. <coughs> Blimey. Can I move the engine? No, I can't. Can't move. Can't move the rod either. Right. Oops, shit. I tried to click the mouse, it didn't work. There we go. Stock's depleted. Okay. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay. For those joining the live stream, this is my first attempt at a game called Dredge. Shallow. Disturbed water. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, okay. Thank you, King Fishy. Thank you very much, King. Disturbed water, start fishing. Blue mackerel again. Rotate. Okay. And can I rotate like that? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh. go low stock now can I can I shimmy anything around ah hold the phone okay I might have just scuppered myself here okay I guess that's good enough for now it's near the end of day anyway right here we go how can I tell <coughs> when the fog rolls in <coughs> oh I'm so sorry folks right Sorry, what's that? Select your lights by holding E. Oh, what's this? Okay. Light up the night. Stronger lights lessen the effects of panic. Why would you panic? It's fishing. Fishing is relaxing. Right. All right. <laughs> Dock. Oh, hold down the button. There we go. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. 
until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Okay. Uh, where do I sell the fish? Hmm. Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. He's quite a dedicated fishmonger. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. So just polishing off the coffee. <coughs> why do I why do I pronounce it mare? What mare? Because it's mare. <laughs> Shut up. Right. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. <sighs> You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found the new one so fast. Why, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. Well, considering I have a boat, sir, surely I can just take it and drive off. Mm. So, let's see what you got. Okay. Sell all the fish for F. I see. Fresh. Okay. Plentiful and basic. Sell F. Sell all by holding it down. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, blimey. Where's that water? Hang on. Oh, shit. Sorry, I, d I left my pint of water in the, in the um, kitchen. Hang on. Okay, so Monday, day one. Right. Should be everything. What's this? What do these hooks indicate? Fishing equipment, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Return to the town. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Does he, does he literally have nothing better to do? Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Collect item. What is it? Research pass. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Ship loan repayment, $27.68 remaining. Shipwright, storage, rest, undock, research. Hmm. As you walk into the yard, you see a shipwright, Jesus, making repairs to the damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She, she shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Okay. Simple skimmer, weighted line. What have I got here? Basic fishing pole. Okay. Install time, three hours, two hours. Catches in the shallow. This catch is coastal. Okay. A lightweight rod suited for catching fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes for limited reeling speed, however. Buy for $75. Okay. <coughs> right. Is my boat damaged? Enter repair mode. Fix damage and restore durability. No, it does not appear to be damaged. Okay. She does. She does have a massive forehead, doesn't she? She could probably read my mind. She's probably just hearing wind noises. Shipwright engines. Rusty outboard engine? Oh, cool. Lights, cloudy lens, cracked bulb. Right. 
return to the town. My storage. Storage locker. Okay. Might as well put this research part in the storage locker. What's, what's this? Research. Okay. What's this? Question mark. Question mark. Flexible fishing pole. Coastal and shallow. Spend times one... I'm guessing research part, maybe? Yes. Research part times one. Hang on. Storage. Grab. Boat. Back. Research. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, folks. Oh. oh, hang on. There's more tabs. Rods, engine, pots, and nets. Okay. So what have I just done? Fishing speed 45% on the rod that I've already got. Okay. Right. May as well sleep. Rest until dawn. Oh, I need two parts, do I? My bad. Okay, let's get out there then. So, undock. And go catch some more fish. Aha, it seems that the ones that I've already fished for are empty, so I've got to go further afield. Okay. Tab, what, what opens here? So time is frozen, cabin, what's this? Encyclopedia. Aha. Hmm. Cod, blue mackerel, discovered two out of 151. Neat. Hmm. Aberrations. Okay. Coastal, shallow, these are filters, aren't they? Cool. Ooh, Jesus. Right. Uh, messages, map. Ah, oh, there we go. The Marrow, Stella Basin, Gale Cliff, Devil's Spine, and Twisted Strand. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely morning. Welcome indeed to, uh, yeah, whatever it is you're doing. Welcome to your Monday. Yeah, I'm good over here. Got lots of work to do on the bullshittery front. Hang on. Stock's low. Start fishing. So I've got to get this video finished. Get it done and get it out the way. In fact, don't put it there. Put it in the middle. So today, I'll tell you what I've got to do. I've got to... There's one more commission that I've yet to uh, fully plan and send out. So I need to get it... Pl well, I need to make it like a pre-render. And, uh, and ask an artist if they'd like to work on it. I've also got commissions coming in from other artists, so I need to get them paid. Hang on. When I say commissions, I just mean art assets that I can slot into the bullshittery. Baldur's Gate 3 later? Yeah, as far as I know. If the guys are up for Baldur's Gate, so am I. There we go. <coughs> Gold thing to the left. Gold thing to the left. I'm not sure, sorry. There we go. Stick that there. <coughs> oh, blimey. Right. For those joining, apologies for all the coughing. I'm feeling quite unwell. Shallow. Okay, I don't have the right equipment for this. What town is this? Is this a town? It is. Can I dock? Little Marrow. Okay. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Ah. Hello, is that... No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Strange le letters you're writing there, sir? Hmm. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, I got some cod. Uh, pick up, discard, to storage. No. Okay. 
I don't have any trinkets, whatever that means. Right. Okay, I don't think I, I don't think there's anything here that I need. Okay, are you I presume you're shallow because you're in the shallows. Yep. <coughs> oh, blimey. Hi there, 99 DB. Hi there. Are they fish or just rocks? No, wait, it's planks of planks of something. Dredge. Shapes in the water. You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. Uh, so do I go that way? Do, 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 do. Oceanic. Don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. Over there then? We'll try over here. I'm losing the light, so I best get back fairly sharpish. Nope, shallow. Okay, looks like I've got to go back and get a different type of fishing rod for the shallows. A skimmer. The game, a little bit reminds me of a game called Dark Cloud, I think it was, on the PlayStation. Hang on. Right. Oh. To the fishmonger. I didn't catch a huge amount. I've had a special order come through from a customer, he says. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above the normal prices. What's the order? <laughs> they asked for one gulf flounder and one grey eel. Just bring them in when you have them. Okay. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water, uh, shallow water fish in order to catch those. The ship right should be able to sort that out for you. Hmm. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Uh, sometimes you can even tell just by looking from the surface. Okay. Sell all the fish for a hundred dollars. Okay. Sold seven fish. Um, yeah, minus fifteen dollars for the debt. Okay. So, uh, shipwright, fishmonger, shipwright. <sighs> sorry, sorry, it's a mess in here, she says. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it is. Exhausting. Okay. So, weighted line, what's the difference here? Four slotter versus a two slotter. Simple skimmer, two hours install time, operational fishing speed 10%. Fishing speed 40% for the other one. No, wait. Did I misread it? No, I didn't. Price. It's double the price. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with double the price. No? Oh, there we go. I need to hold it down. Right. So now I can fish for the shallow fish. Okay. Return to town. And I guess sleep. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> Oh, crikey. Crikey. All right. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Because your lighthouse is shit! Oh, um, I've come to fish. <sighs> There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Well, evidence to the contrary, lady. I've been catching fish for the last two days. The mayor? What does he want? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped up mess of shapes. Okay. Yeah, sure. The mayor hands me a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Uh, please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Uh, don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. New pursuit added. Okay. Let's go. So we'll fish on the way and then sleep over there. 
think we're ready, aren't we? Undock, storage. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> right. Coastal, start fishing. There we go. Blue mackerel. The spot has been depleted. What about over here? What's that there? A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. Shallow fish. Ah, a gulf flounder. Nice. Species added to the encyclopedia. There we go. Stick this there. Right. There we go. Right. Wait. Have I fucked up? Do I have any room aboard? Uh. What do I do? Discard? I don't discard it. There we go. Okay, let me quickly deliver the thing. No, wait, there's this on the way. We'll just stop and grab it. Okay, disturbed water. I presume this is mackerel. Yep, just stick this uh, here. It's probably all we can do for now. Okay, we should have time to pop out again. Let's just quickly dock and fl fling this at the dude. Alright. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. Uh, out, out of it. Suitable, so, sorry, sustainable fishing added to cabin. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it when you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how, how lonely it can be. <coughs> sure, sure. Right. Oh, there's no fishmonger here? Of course. Whoops. Uh, okay, in which case, I shouldn't really stop here. I've got fish that I need to sell. Okay. Undock. Travel back. Oh, blimey. <coughs> oh, I'm struggling. Apologies, folks. My throat feels feels really ripped up. Right. I still need the crab. Oh, hang on. Cargo cabin pursuits. I see. One flounder, one eel. I'm to catch a gulf flounder and a grey eel. I'll need a rod that can handle shallow waters. Hmm. Can I grab one just before I get back in? Shallow... Is this shallow? Uh, yes, it is shallow. I see. Is that eel? What the fuck? Okay. Items left here will be lost. Oh, I see. So you can put stuff there and if you want to fiddle like this. Uh, okay. Hang on. Put these two here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Right. I think that's all I've got space for. Yes. Okay, then. Let's go and deliver the fish. 
I'm rather frustrated because there used to be like a little pop-up fishmonger that would uh, stop at, at different places around Brighton. And there was a place where it used to go, but it doesn't anymore. So I could really, I could really do with some fresh fish. Here we go. Go to the fishmonger. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. Mm. Just leave it, uh, sorry, just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Okay. There you go. Cool, $50. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Mm. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Mm. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid. <coughs> They want an, uh, a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. No, I don't actually. I sleep. If, you, if you're ever hunting for specific species, check your encyclopedia. It'll, it'll have the information that you need. Okay. Sell all the fish. Nice. Okay, debt adjusted. I've lost ten point five eight dollars. Right. Oh, what the fuck is that? God damn it. Okay, is there time to go out and fish a little bit more? Probably not. It's about to be nightfall. Okay, get a bit. Ah, oh dear. Right, so... That's true, I should have gone out to get the squid. Okay. One second. Cabin. Pursuits. So two arrow squid and one black grouper. I need to catch that. They'll only bite at night. In addition, Encyclopedia. Discovered four out of, four out of 151. Okay. Switch off the filters. How do I get back to the first page? Just hold the button, I guess. Hang on. So, blue mackerel, cod, I see. The marrows, rod, trawl, or pot. What's this? Not caught. Cool. I see squid, coastal, okay. Coastal, shallows, shallows, what's this? Question mark. Probably a grouper. Shallows. Yeah, okay. Right. Let's get back out there then. Thank you, Fox Farmer. Thank you for the sub bomb, Fox Farmer. That's very kind of you, Fox. Hmm. And before that, Malty and Ben Bradford, come on, Derp, and the psychedelic Viking. Thank you for your kindness, everyone. Thank you. Right. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely day today. If you're just passing through the live stream, please know that I'm trying to get Divinity Bullshittery Part 4 out of the door. It's entering its quality assurance process. Probably going to take a couple of weeks. Right. What's this? Uh, oceanic. I don't have the right equipment for Oceanic. Is this also Oceanic? That won't be. <coughs> Ah. So, dredge. I don't have the equipment for it. Have I gone too far? Book just collecting dust. Where is the book? Sustainable fishing. It's right in front of me. Okay. What's this? Reading. Select as active book past time to read. I haven't read this yet. Okay, coastal. Start fishing for cod. Okay. Oh no, blue mackerel, sorry. <coughs> oh, a bit dear me. Okay. Stock's depleted. Right. So, where now? Sorry, my mouse is caught. There we go. Yeah, we'll go over here. I think I need a faster engine. Coastal stocks, high stock. Hang on a minute. Right. 
Ooh. Okay, place that there for a minute. Item split, no, no, put it here. Okay. Simple mackerel. So yes, as mentioned, uh, back when I was a teenager, I went on holiday a couple of times up to the Scottish Isles. We stayed on, a, on, an, on an island there called Muck. M-U-C. Weird name. It was along an island chain next to the Isle of Rum, the Isle of Skye, the Isle of Egg. Uh, the landscape was breathtaking, frankly. I think older me would appreciate it more than teenage me, me who, who was at the time more interested in computers and electronics to appreciate the highlands of Scotland. Nevertheless, it is a fond memory. We stayed for a time uh, on the island, and one day we went off on a, on a fishing boat with a family that lived locally. They were kind enough to offer, if ever we wanted to visit Scotland again, to, uh, well, to house us, essentially. To uh, offer board if we wanted to spend time on their fishing trawler. Never did take them up on it, of course. I was a teenager who wasn't really interested in, in that sort of thing. But regardless, it was a, it's a nice memory. <coughs> And as mentioned, we caught a bunch of mackerel, and then we went to the coast. We went to one of the islands. I can't remember which one it was, but we uh, we went on a, a like we took the small boat to a nearby island, and we had a fresh open air barbecue uh, in the Scottish Highlands with mackerel that was so fresh it was literally swimming in the ocean 30 minutes prior. It was nice. Okay. And the story that I, that I often repeat is that the family had a, um, a house in the middle of this, like, cove. And uh, they had to drive around. So imagine imagine that village there is their house, right? So every single time they came into dock, they, would just, so they wouldn't just drive in a straight line. Whoops. They wouldn't just drive in a straight line to their dock. They would, they would hug the coast like this. They would get all the way around like this. And uh, we quiz them on, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you going all the way around like this? And it reveals that apparently they had a, they had a fishing boat and it sank in the middle of the thing. You can see, in low tide, you can see its mast sticking out. It's still there. They've created a shipping hazard for themselves. <coughs> okay. So, fishmonger, bit of mackerel. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. No. Okay. Sell all the fish. Right. There we go. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. <coughs> oh. Ah. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is surely to be swarming with visitors any day now. Hmm. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. Uh, we're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Okay. Dry dock. Ah. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're taking extra space. Sorry, we're talking extra space. More attachment points for equipment and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get these materials? Uh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. Sorry, materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry uh, if you ha only have... Un I can't even. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. Upgrades. Select an upgrade project to begin adding materials to it. Rod space. What's that? Wood ne uh, screws. Okay. Right. <coughs> so. Uh. If any of your equipment stops working, head back here for repairs. 
Sure. So weighted line. How much cash have I got? Two hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Let's get a better engine. Okay. So peculiar engine. Uh, status operational. Speed fourteen knots. These ones are ten knots apiece. An old rusty engine won't get far with this. Okay. But at least we can get uh, a couple of them. Okay. How much will this cost me? A hundred dollars. There we go. So... Now what? A weighted line I've already got. Okay. Uh, cargo storage... Maybe a light if I'm going out night fishing for squid? Sure. Uh. Yeah, I can give it a go. Why not? Cloudy lens, one hour. Lumen 750 LM. Range 10. Okay. Oh, I see. It goes there. Okay. 180. Blimey. I can't afford it. Put a, a cracked bulb. There we go. No? There we go. Right. We'll give it a welly. Let's pop out quickly to see if we can find one of those squids, shall we? Huh, we do feel a bit faster. Squid, 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 where's the squid? Are you squid? Ah, stock's medium. Here we go. Arrow squid. Stick it there. All right. Simple as. Stock's depleted. What's that eyeball? Visibility, maybe? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, look. It changes. If I switch the light on or off? What happens if I drive near here? Not sure. Okay. So... I've got the squid. What was my assignment? Sorry, it wasn't just the squid. It was, <coughs> it was something else. Black grouper. Okay. They only bite at night. The black grouper only bites at night? Is that true? Let me go to the encyclopedia. Cod grey eel. Okay, I'm guessing this is probably it. In the shallows? Okay, the marrows shallows, not coarse. Let's go and have a look at... Yeah, see if we can find a shallow over here. Doobly-doo, doobly-doo. Are you shallow? Yes, you are. But the icon says eel. What happens if I try? Yep, barbed eel. Wait, is this different? Oh, what the fuck? A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Revenge? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck caused you to need revenge in the first place? Okay. Exposure to fog and other things will increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay. Ah, grouper? Ha! Start fishing. There we go. Black grouper. Stick it there for a minute. Stick a squid over there. Okay. Whoops. Uh, do I have the space if I just play Tetris? There we go. Hearing weird noises. Hmm. Let's get back to the coast, shall we? Okay. 
I see. The eye is moving around in more of a panic. Right. Docking? Greater marrow? Right. Fishmonger? Have you got any fish for that order? I do. Here's your grouper. Here's your squid. <clears throat> Just leave it. Uh, leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's ready to go. Can I shift click maybe? No. Control click now. There we go. Squid. Sweet. $89.24. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. <sighs> I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. New business venture? Dude, crab pots have been around since fucking Rome. <clears throat> I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Okay. Basic crab pot. Right. <laughs> yeah, they're new to him. Oh my god! You can just put a pot down and the crabs can climb in and they can't climb out. Wow. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I just need to get some water. <coughs> oh, one. Oh. Hang on. Alright, so. <clears throat> Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea, anywhere, then come back a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab, after a fiddler crab, and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Mm -hmm. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. Don't stick it in your bum. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes, <laughs> he pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. <coughs> so I'm sure you'll find more before long. I'll pay you well if you can find more. Okay. Sorry, I'm going downhill, folks. The trouble is, when I try to speak, I get this very distracting tickling in my throat. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with delicate crimson thread. Okay. I'll put it in storage. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, fishmonger's store. What's he got? He's selling different types of crab pots. No, wait, they're the, they're the same type of crab pot. A simple crab pot can be deployed out to sea. Okay. I also have uh, fish for sale. There we go. Sweet. So we'll go deploy a couple of couple of those, I think. <coughs> Buy a second one. Sweet. Like so. <coughs> Right. What's this? A man is looking at me through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Do you mind? <sighs> I know what you took to the fishmonger. Yeah, fish. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm an angler, dude. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. <sighs> Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. 
I'll have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. <coughs> okay. I should probably sleep. Yep. A short bit of rest. Now then. I'll take the handkerchief with me for the dude that wants to have a look at it. Right. How much cash do I currently have? 169. Nice. But I need to go. Yeah. So let's go out to sea. <coughs> Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy it with the right mouse button. They catch things over time but need repairing every so often. Okay. So let's stick one here in the shallows, shall we? So press E, crab pot ability. Crabs plenty. E. Sweet. Basic crab pot deployed at a depth of 2.1 meters. Then we'll go over here. We'll deploy one here. Crabs plenty. Same flavor of crab. What if I go over here? Does it change to coastal? 8.9.1 meters down. Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> What's this here? Oceanic. I don't have the right equipment for this. Okay. Let's try the other side then. Let's go over here. Apologies for those joining the stream. As you can probably tell, I'm struggling. I'm not feeling 100%. What happened was, over Christmas, we all gathered, my family, gathered in one room for a Christmas Eve meal, and we put six tables together end to end. The problem was, there were about 40 to 50 of us, and someone was ill with something, probably a cold. And so I went down pretty hard, but it's still going through me. Notably, it's in the back of my throat. And it's really fucked up my my voice, my vocal cords. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get a bit of fish here. Sorry, do I have a special uh, pursuit right now? Common crab and a fiddler crab. Okay. Right. Sorry, what did that say there? Reading, 86% 80, uh, complete. I'm reading it over time? Okay. <coughs> what? I do. I do, Ratnik. Yes. Delicate constitution. We'll go with that. Right. I probably can't easily fit too many more of those aboard. We'll go over here. Thank you, Shogo. And thank you, Jubiz. Coastal, low stocks, but start fishing. It's cod. Ugh. No, it's not. Grotesque mackerel. What the fuck? Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. What the fuck? Okay. Grotesque mackerel. It's its own entry. An uh, aberration of common mackerel. I see. Yeah. Weird. One quart. Right, so... I presume I don't have any more pots. No, I don't. So why do I have the... Oh, I see. It's just still on my screen because I had the ability up before. Foghorn. Do I have a foghorn? Hehehe. <laughs> Hey. Uh, spyglass. What's this? Oh, wow. Neat. Cool. Oh, it even tells me what species, or as far as I can identify. Oceanic swordfish. Dredge for something. <coughs> cool. Yeah. Sweet. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you very much, Jordan. Hi there indeed, Jordan. Hang on. 
I know. I know, Jordan. No, I, I don't think ocean fishing is really for me in real life, though. Used to when I was a teenager. Off Harbour Arms and all that. But it's just not as cosy as a uh, river and uh, uh, still water fishing. Right. There we go. Can I fit anything more? Maybe one cod, if I can find one. Ah, well, that's why I have a spike. A, a, sorry, a looking glass. Dredge. Cod. Coastal. There we go. Ah, more cod. Coastal. Whatever that is. Grey eel. What's that gold thing? Start fishing for cod. Okay. What the fuck? All seeing cod. Another aberration. Right. Okay. Check my encyclopedia. Cabin encyclopedia. <coughs> All seeing cod. Staring outwards, unblinking. Eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. Okay. Yes, the cod is viewing your browser history. What's this sign? 20th of August, 1927, added to the cabin. Ah, 10% chance. So I finished reading that book that I was given by that dude on the uh, on the dock. 10% chance to not reduce fish fishing stock when catching a fish with a rod. A hefty tome and laborious read, it goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. It mentions something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Also, the camera's not working, otherwise I'd show Lulu, but she's currently staring at me. She wants some attention. Hi, darling. Yeah, she's being a good girl. Okay. What's this? Messages. 20th of August, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of... Oh, wait. Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and the colours are so stri <coughs> striking. Sorry. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. Wait, sorry. It's your honeymoon and he took you out fishing on the ocean? Dude. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw uh, throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Okay. <clears throat> Unknown messages in a bottle. Hmm. Right, back to the uh, fishmonger we go. Uh. Yeah, if you're just if you're just joining, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm as you can probably tell, I'm struggling considerably. Just giving dredge a go. We're playing as a angler, a fisherman, who crashed on the rocks of this uh, weird town, and is having to rebuild his boat. Okay. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands, hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Thanks. Right. So, sell all the fish for $142.21. Okay. Oh, wait. 
Was I supposed to inspect the aberrations to see if they have anything in them? Hmm. Okay. So, got some cash. Shipwright. <coughs> the skies were lit up with a weird crimson glow the other night. Did you see it? No. Okay. So nothing is damaged. I don't think she specifically has... Yeah, so how does one upgrade to a new type of boat? Dry dock. Here we go. Remember, you don't have uh, to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the dry dock. Okay. New hull. Tier 2 upgrade. Rod spaces. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold rods. Okay. Show the details. I see. Purchase upgrade for 100. Two cargo spaces to also hold engines. I see. Here and here? Hmm. <coughs> Net spaces. Four rod spaces to also hold nets. Oh, I see. Okay. What do you think I should do? Should I try the net thing? I don't think we have access to any nets yet, do we? They're not being sold? Yeah, I don't think I can do anything right now. Yeah, before I, I, I yeah, before I, I, I go to bed, let's just quickly go for the crab pots. <clears throat> Hello, crab pot. Check the pot. Oh, okay. Three days remaining. I guess I was too soon. Right, 2.4 meters. What about the other one? That's true, the handkerchief weirdo's waiting. One day remaining. Those crabs are on a schedule. Okay, hang on. There we go. Oh, I see. Is that the health of the pot? My bad. Look at the light. Oh, yeah, look. There's a red light over there. <coughs> Should I be driving over to it? Hmm. Up to me. Ah. How close is it, do you reckon? Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. If it's like a billion miles away, then probably not. Nah, it's fucking miles away. All the way around the other side of the island. It's going to take forever. Hang on. Check the pots. Nope, nothing. this here? Oh, Jesus, what was that? What was that? Hmm. Why is this glowing weird? Disturbed water. Start fishing. Whoops. Stingray. Oh, cool. Wow, it's huge. That's what she said. Right. <coughs> Shard ray. Ooh. Fish be weird here, yo. The stone skin of this ray is molded around a black crystal shard. The rock fragment articulates and grind. Sorry, the rock fragments articulate and <coughs> grind together. <coughs> I'm sorry, folks. I'm really struggling. I might have to, uh... <coughs> I'm 
shredding up my vocal cords, something fierce. Hang on. Right, let's get back to the thing. My character appears to be panicking. Oh no. Uh, the light's gone out. I'm sure everything's fine. Check the crab pot before we go back in. Oh wow. Common common crab. A crusty carapace and clicking claws caught in a cage close to the coast. Teeny weeny. Okay. There we go. The mayor, you're still awake? Fishman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Okay. Have you got any crabs for the order? Uh, I got one of them. Don't forget, if your crab pods get a bit worn out, the shipwrights should be able to patch them up. Okay. <laughs> I got one of the two. All right. Come back when you have everything. <laughs> so this fish here, can I... Can I inspect it? Or do I just sell it? Scarred pickup. Hang on. Chat, do you know? Sorry? Uh, am I meant to be opening up these ones to find stuff in them or just sell them? Just sell them? Okay. I'll just sell them. Sell all fish for two hundred and seventeen dollars. There we go. Right, and then we'll sleep. Five hundred and twenty nine dollars, not bad. Okay. Sorry, I do apologize everyone. I think I don't think my voice is, is quite ready for this. I might have to um, give it a bit of a rest, especially before Baldur's Gate this evening, which I'm hoping to play with my clan mates. Yeah, sorry to disappoint you folks, but I'm, I'm probably going to leave it leave it there this morning and um, get to work on Divinity Bullshittery. But thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you, Soats and Jordan and Little Hercules and Jubs and Buffalo. So, for those who are just joining, essentially I'm playing as a an angler who crashed his boat off Greater Marrow, this town, and I'm currently gathering cod and mackerel and uh, other types of flatfish to earn money to upgrade the boat. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Um, before I before I, I skedaddle, hang on. Let me link you what I linked at the start of the stream. Hang on a second. Oh. So I'm working. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm working on Divinity Bullshittery Part 4, and I've nearly finished the project. It's going through quality assurance right now, which means I'm watching through the video and spotting bugs and trying to fix them with about five or six scenes unfinished where I need to slot them in. They're mostly art commissions. If you're interested in seeing me work throughout, <coughs> Sorry. throughout the day, have a look at this. <coughs> so I'm trying to... I keep a worksheet available tracking what I'm doing and uh, essentially you'll see me fill this in over time although truth be told you probably won't see it move much today because there's one very specific thing I need to do row 12 I need to try and get a commission mapped out so uh, like an animation planned out in a draft form and then send an email to an artist asking them if they'd be interested in doing the commission so anyway the point is please bear with me I am working hard on the latest bullshit <laughs> Bullshittery. <coughs> I need to go. I'm so sorry, folks. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Weasel D and Giant Shrimp and Mr. Mauser. Thank you, all of you. Let me have a quick look and see if any of my clan mates are alive. Perhaps their voices have a quick look and see if on. any of my are in a better shape than mine. Okay, I'm afraid not. There's none of my clan mates currently live. And unfortunately, no one I'm following is currently live. I'll have to uh, love you and leave you, I'm afraid. Thank you again, folks, and apologies for flaking on you. Have a lovely afternoon. 
Hope to see you this evening for a bit of Baldur's Gate. Take care. Have a lovely, lovely Monday.